Hey guys, so we're back. I'm here with Kindle at Fifth and Sky and we are about to enter our whitening round. Are you ready, Kindle? I'm ready. Alrighty. So what are your tips for friends and family looking for a home? My number one tip would be to sit down with a really good realtor first. It is, It will save you so much time and so much money in the end to just start planning ahead versus just kind of going out there willy-nilly and trying to shop around, not really knowing like a game plan. If you get a game plan in place, it's it's golden. Absolutely, absolutely, I completely agree. <laughs> All right, so are there any misconceptions about working in real estate? Misconceptions? Yeah, um, <laughs> I would say one of the biggest misconceptions is that it's easy. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It, that's all I hear about, like, oh, I'm going to go dabble in real estate. Easy and it, commission. Yeah, yeah, easy money. <laughs> um, it is not easy, and it does take you really doing it full time. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely not something easy, but if you stay with it and you're hardworking, you'll be good. I feel like it takes a lot of organization skills, oh, yeah. just like a bunch of other skills where you have to focus in because yeah. people just think that, you know, big checks and oh, they're yeah. just tossed over to you. It's, One time, like, yeah. oh, well, you get to just make your own schedule and you don't have to have an office. And it's like, no, no, <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so as a new mother, congratulations, Thank by the you. way. Thank you. How do you balance work life and home life? Um, you know, it, it took some getting used to. Um, so I decided to go back at, she was about eight weeks old um, and she's three months now. So it was a big decision, but honestly, I had to just get into a normal routine. And honestly, I think it's helped her and I be able to like really enjoy our time together and bond more when I do have her. So I'm back um, almost full time now. And, um, but I make sure with the flexibility that I do have with my schedule that I'm still getting to spend some time with her. Um, but just really getting a good schedule down yeah. is, has been so important. It helps to have the structure. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So what's something that helps you decompress when you do happen to get stressed out? <laughs> um, well, wine. Um, <laughs> is, Number one answer. <laughs> yes. Is a, is a great decompressor. Um, no, but honestly, like my morning routines are everything for me. Um, I write down my goals, my attractions, um, what I'm grateful for. Okay. Um, I do like a quick like meditation of everything that I like want to visualize and bring into my life. Okay. And um, that honestly helps me stay very grounded. Good, yeah. that's awesome. All right, so last but not least, what part do you love most about your job? Part I love most, um, I would have to say just getting to work with people and helping them with one of the biggest financial decisions that they ultimately end up making in their life. Absolutely. It is so, it, there's, it's just, it feels great to be able to like help somebody with something so major in their life because I feel like, you know, after closing and after everything's all done, like I truly have made like a friend and you know, I'm there for them like beyond closing and yeah. after that and it's it's great well, that's awesome yeah. thank you so much kindle for sharing yeah. and thank you for your time yeah. thank you guys for watching thanks guys